Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 1998 Chinook Premier with 78,018 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 1998 Chinook Premier. As usual, I'm gonna start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm gonna do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of our RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We will go through a full demo with you at the time of sale and answer any questions you may have. Make sure you are fully comfortable with your new coach. Got about 76 and a half inches of headroom in the main part of the RV. Got about 74 inches here at the air conditioner. Also back here in the rear of the coach. The air conditioner is powered by your AC power, so your plug-in or your generator. It's controlled via the thermostat here. This also controls the propane furnace. So that burns propane to make your heat. It uses the coach battery to power the fan. Got a fantastic fan here in the center of the coach. This can act like your attic fan. If you open up the windows and turn this on, it'll bring the cool outside air in. That runs on your coach battery. We've got 110 power here, we've got 12 volt power. We've got a TV coax coming in there. That little button is to power up the TV antenna for air channels. We've got 110 power here and here as well. We've got day night shades in this coach. We've got a window that opens on the right portion here. So the screen portion's over here, this will slide over. You can let some fresh air in here. We've got two belts here. They're down below here. I'll try to show you that in a little bit. And we've got two belts here, two belts here, and two belts up front. So a total of eight belts in this unit. We've got the day-night shades here on the driver's side as well with the screen portion here on this side. Got your TV antenna crank there. Got a window with a screen portion here on the left behind the kitchen sink. Dual base and stainless. Got some extra counter space here. Nice little rack for your goodies. Towel bar. Got your Chinook style clock. Got a little towel loop there. Got the Coca Cola opener. The holding tank heaters. Um, these appear like they are operating, but we never promise that these work. We think these are kind of a bad encouragement in some ways to do things that you shouldn't do camping in really cold weather. There are some uh, workarounds for that. If you are planning on doing some cold weather camping in this unit, contact us here um, by phone, email, or check in with us here in person, and we'll explain some more of that for you. This is your water heater on off that ignites itself. your fuse panel there on the left, noxious gas detector. Got your water tank here, your awning center rafter, your water pump there on the far left. Here's a better look at the storage beneath the dinette. The dinette bed measures approximately 70 inches north-south or front to back and 36 and a half inches east-west or side to side. The jackknife sofa bed measures approximately 72 inches north-south and 48 inches east-west when unfolded and about 21 inches east-west when in the regular seating position. If you wanted to use this area as one large bed, it would measure approximately 70 to 72 inches north-south and 84 inches east-west. A cabinets overhead here on the passenger side. These are connected together. Got a plug in back there, that's your microwave plugged into there. 
We've got a standard microwave on this unit. It'll have to be plugged in or running the generator to use that. Got your levels test here. Push this button to use those. The water tanks are notoriously finicky. Also got a propane gas and a coach battery level tester here. We've got your hood light and fan. Got your water pump on off here. This will turn the water pump on and off. That pumps the water out of the onboard fresh water tank to your sink, shower, and toilet. Got a two burner propane cooktop. Nice deep storage below. Got a two way nor cold here. Got a freezer portion up top. So this is a two-way, meaning this runs on AC power. So your shore power plug-in or your generator or propane gas. It's controlled via the switches there on the front of the unit. Got a nice storage spot here. Storage below the fridge. Nice bathroom here. Got an exhaust fan overhead. Got your shower head there on the wall. Nice little medicine cabinet. So, concept here is you're gonna get right in this little shower room, not much of a step up and in. Do all your business right here. Water drains right into the floor. Closet here. That's your awning crank down there. Noxious gas detector. Got the start stop switch for the Onan 4K generator. That has 36 hours. Fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. Got a screen door entry. A little bit of a step up and in, but not too much. Got your fire extinguisher there. 110 AC power. Got the porch light switch. Got a little flashlight there. Here we are standing at the rear of the coach. I watched a documentary on how airplanes are held together. It was riveting. Up here in the front where the VCR would have originally been, our guys installed this little 12 volt charging station. Got two USB plugs there. Got lots of storage back here. This goes all the way across. Got a button and curtain there on the right. Got your manuals and other goodies there. We've got an inverter there, that little red box on the lower left that is allowing you to watch this TV off of the coach battery. So that's inverting the DC power to AC power to power this. This has a built-in DVD player. So all in all, got a nice little Chinook here. So this is one of those ones that's a little tougher to grade because of the cosmetic blemishes on the exterior. Depending on how much you want to fault this unit for those things, um, I don't think those really affect the fun you can have in this unit. It doesn't really affect the functionality so much, just more of a cosmetic thing strictly. Um, I'm going to call this one an 8 out of 10. You could call it a 7.5 if you really want to ding it for the stripes and things like that. But throughout, this is a nice looking coach. Nice little floor plan. Good sleeping. Got the Chinook quality and the one-piece fiberglass shell. That molded fiberglass still shined up well. You can see here on the outside portion of the tour. So all in all, I'm going to call this one an 8 out of 10. Check it out at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up in the front, we got power windows, power locks, tilt cruise. Nice clean upholstery. A little glove box there in the center. The cigarette lighter appears unused, so while it's tough to say for sure, I call this one a non-smoker. This button here, you can push and hold this, and it will jump start you off of the coach batteries if you were to have a dead engine battery. We've got a coach battery on off, so this is your coach battery disconnect. You want this on while you're using the coach, turn it off if you're storing it. That disconnects your coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. It also disconnects your charging systems, which are the alternator while you drive, the shore power plug-in, and the generator. Alrighty folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 1998 Chinook Premier. This RV measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper with a 9 foot manual awning. Has 6 brand new tires. This RV is built on a Ford E350 chassis with a 6.8 liter V10 engine with 78,018 miles.
Let's look at the decals on this one. We've got your furnace exhaust. Got your propane tank underneath. Got a valve to turn that on and off. Got two 110 plug-ins to plug things in beneath the awning. Got our own and 4K generator. Got a ladder for rooftop access. Got some storage here. You can pop this spare tire down to make that easier to access. Got your sewer hose storage. Got your sewer dump. We got the gray on the right and the black on the left. So you're gonna pull the black and then the gray. Got the fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank so you cannot strand yourself. Got your shore power plug in. Got your fresh water fill for the onboard fresh water tank, your city water connection. Two coach batteries. At the back of the water heater. Got the coax in. Take you a little closer here on the stripes so you can see what these look like. Good shine on the fiberglass still. Nice little Chinook ready to hit the highway.